Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at the modulus and the argand diagram. Okay, well, the argand diagram, this is how we basically graph complex numbers. And it's very similar to how we would plot coordinate points in our coordinate geometry, except our x-axis is what we call the real axis, and the y-axis is our imaginary axis. So, in other words, the numbers along the x-axis represent the real numbers, and of course, the numbers then along the y-axis, up along uh, and down, are the imaginary numbers. So let's say we were asked to plot uh, 2 plus 4i. Well, what we would do, because 2 is along the real, we would come over here to 2 on the real, and then we would go up 4 on the imaginary, because 4i is up here. That's 2i, that's 3i, and there's 4i. So 2 plus 4i is there. And that's the way we plot it. As if it was a coordinate point with an x and y, uh, it is, of course, real and imaginary, real along the x and imaginary along the y. Now, when we come to dealing with the modulus, the modulus is always asking you to find the length of that complex number. And they always measure the length going from the origin or zero, zero right here in the middle. So the modulus is looking for this length. This is how we calculate the modulus, okay? Uh, watch out for these lines, by the way. Naturally, we would have seen them before in coordinate geometry of the line, and of course, they denote length. And given that's what the modulus is, always looking at the length between the complex number uh, and 0, 0, uh, the way we calculate it then is the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now, this isn't in your log table, so this is something that you have to be very, very familiar with. It comes from Pythagoras because if you were to make this into a right angle triangle, then to get the length of this hypotenuse, you would have to square root the other two sides squared and added together. Okay, so it does come from Pythagoras. So be very familiar with this. The square root of a squared plus b squared, as I said, is how we calculate the modulus. So let's say we've been asked to calculate 2 plus 4i, then what we would do is we would put the square root. The a represents the first value, so put that in brackets and don't forget to square it. And then plus, and then the b represents the second value. Uh, so in other words, the coefficient of the i in this case, which is 4, and don't forget to square it. So the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared is, of course, 2 root 5. And you can leave like that unless they ask for it to a certain amount of decimal places. Okay, let's take a look at if you're asked to plot uh, minus 3 plus 5i. Well, this time it's minus 3 on the real. So here's minus 3 on the real and 5i on the imaginary. So minus 3 plus 5i is here. And again, if you're asked for the modulus, we are, of course, looking for that length there. The modulus of minus 3 plus 5i, well, again, it is going to be the square root of a squared plus b squared. So square root, your a this time is minus 3, put it in brackets and square it. And your b is the coefficient of i, well don't forget your plus in between of course. Your b is the coefficient of i, so it's 5, put it in brackets and square it. And then on the calculator we can do that calculation. Don't forget to keep your brackets around what you've subbed in, plus in the middle. And there we go, we have minus 3 squared plus 5 squared equals square root of 34.